Okay, um, thank you, uh, Thomas, and thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you know, one of the key areas that uh, A4E is focused on is the ATC performance. And 2018 was one of the worst years ever experienced by the industry. Uh, and clearly, this is completely unacceptable for us as airlines, but more importantly, for us as the representatives of our customers. This situation is disgraceful and needs to be addressed. You can see on the chart there, uh, we've had a disproportionate uh, and unacceptable increase in the level of air traffic control delays that have been experienced. The chart shows you that flights have increased by 14% since 2013, uh, but the ATC delays have increased by 279%. And we've just spent an hour with Amy Brennan, the Director General of Eurocontrol, discussing the performance of ATC providers across Europe uh, and what actions can be taken to address this. According to their data, uh, passengers in Europe experienced 19 million minutes of delays in 2018. 35 years of delays. That's more than double what we experienced in 2017. And uh, this situation must be addressed. If we look at the next chart, you can see the impact that this is having. 334 million European customers experienced delays in excess of 15 minutes of cancellation during 2018. And these airspace inefficiencies have cost the EU economy an estimated 17.6 billion euros last year alone. And that's more than 30% up on 2017. And you can see also that the inefficiency uh, that we experienced and have experienced for the last few years has significantly increased the amount of fuel being burnt and wasted as a result of this. 81,000 tonnes of fuel unnecessarily burnt, generating 254,000 tonnes of CO2 every year since 2015. This trend period cannot continue. The performance is particularly poor in a couple of key areas. Uh, we have to call out Karlsruhe uh, as one of the bottlenecks in Europe, and this is down to poor, inefficient, quite honestly, disgraceful management of the ATC system in Germany. DFS should be ashamed of themselves. You know, what we've experienced in Germany is completely unacceptable. And this is not something that can be fixed, can be fixed with the right focus, with the right management action. And we as an industry are calling out DFS and the way they have managed this situation. Uh, and uh, we are uh, going to continue to highlight the poor performance of ATC providers around Europe when we witness it. Michael. Thanks, Richard.